Hi guys, welcome back to Irish Funny Vlogs. Welcome back to a, another video of ours. Today we're going to look at five possible contenders for the Bohemians job. Let us know what you think in the comments. Who should be the Bohemians manager in your opinion, whether you're a Bose fan or not. I've gone for five different types of managers as well to make it interesting, I suppose. And uh, we'll get straight into it. Please subscribe if you haven't already to the channel. Guys, it's free, but it helps the channel to grow. Like the video if you like the content and click that bell notification button so you don't miss a video now first of all i'm gonna go for robbie Keane. the reason why i'm going for robbie Keane as one of the possible contenders is because damien duff affected shelburne to be honest with you you know robbie Keane, if he was manager of bohemians he could bring another level of interest to the league again could you imagine damien duff and robbie Keane as managers in the league when you think about that you know we're talking about two of the greatest players of their generation, actually, for Ireland. And uh, imagine them coming up against each other, Robbie versus Damien. Uh, high score for Ireland of all time. We know what he can do. He's coached at Middlesbrough, assistant manager at Middlesbrough. He's done various coaching jobs, including the Irish setup as well. Would he be interested in taking a manager's post? He's also worked in Shamrock Rovers as well. Um, So he has. So would he be interested in taking a post like Bohemians? I think... You know, we don't know how good of a manager he could be, but, you know, could you imagine the interest in the League of Ireland of Robbie Keane and Damien Duff are both managers? It definitely would be interesting. I'm not sure what Bowles fans would think if they'd like that as an appointment, but uh, Robbie is still a young coach as well and uh, would definitely be something that I'd look at and think that Bowles could explore, in my personal opinion. Now, the next one I'm going on to is Liam Buckley. Now, Liam Buckley, we know he's the oldest manager in this list, by the way, for a start. We know the experience he brings and um, what he's done in the past. He's won cups with Sporting Fin guys, won cups with St. Patrick's Athletic, league titles with St. Patrick's Athletic. And his last job was obviously Sligo and he lost his job earlier on in this season. Now, the thing about this one is the fact that, bear in mind, Sligo were not in a good place when Liam took over. He definitely lifted them, got them into Europe two seasons in a row, which they hadn't done for a few years now, to be fair. So he definitely did a good job at Sligo, so don't be under any illusions there. Um, likes to play generally a 4-3-3 system, loves wingers, doesn't he? He loves wingers and uh, in a 4-3-3 system as well. And uh, he's known generally to play good, attractive football. Uh, would he be interested in the Bulls job? I think Liam would be interested in the Bulls job. I think he'd be delighted to come in there. Would Bulls take him, though? I think they might think... They want a new or younger coach, to be honest with you. I think Bowles might be looking at that. But if they, you want an experienced manager who knows how to win and can definitely improve things, certainly initially, I think Liam Buckley is definitely an option and a contender. Now, we'll move on to Vinnie Pert. Now, Vinnie Pert, of course, for years played, was, well, played, of course, but he was understudied to Stephen Kenny, who's now the Irish manager as well, and learned a lot from Stephen at Dundalk. Went on to manage Dundalk, of course, winning a league title, uh, winning a league cup. Um, and overall, did a good job at Dundalk, it has to be said. He has this, I suppose, a bit of a straight shooter reputation. Um, again, you would say he still says he's experienced, not in the way that Liam Buckley is, but he's experienced in the league. He knows the league well, doesn't he? Um, and is a, what I would call a strong personality, a very strong personality and a very strong manager. Um, some would argue that he won the league, etc., with Dundalk, um, with Stephen Kenny's team, and they could argue that maybe, you know, it didn't finish great at Dundalk for him, which is a fair point to suggest that. But someone else you think could be in the frame, and I'm sure Bowles will at least, you know, sitting down in a board meeting would the name will pop up. So, um, yeah, let me think what you think of that one, guys. So that's number three. Number four is Tommy Barrett. Now, Tommy Barrett, bit left field maybe you could argue as well. I don't know. But, uh, you know, he's done a terrific job at Treaty United. A terrific job at Treaty United. To get them in the playoffs last season, part-time team, still part-time, the second season at Treaty, because uh, he was manager of Limerick FC, by the way. Um, but part-time side, the third lowest budget, maybe even the second lowest budget in the first division. Sorry, a bit of a sore throat, guys. Um, 
and he's done a fantastic job there. He's got the best out of players um, that maybe were struggling elsewhere um, and have come into the fray at, at Treaty. And a lot of people thought this season Treaty would struggle badly, but there they are in the playoff position as we speak with not too many games left. So, you know, it wasn't just a flash in the pan. He's continued that good work at Treaty and continued it on. The only issue I see is the fact that maybe he doesn't play the most attractive football. I think Bowles fans would like to see someone he plays attractive football. Um, generally, it's quite defensive and, and dogged football. I'm not saying they can't play football, but that would be the principle, I think, at Treaty. Not, nothing wrong with that, but might be something Bowles would like. And he's very Limerick-based. He's a Limerick man. He's coached at Limerick. I don't believe he's coached anywhere else. So Limerick FC, Treaty, I don't think he's coached anywhere else, guys. So... I'm not sure if that would be something he'd go for. So, guys, on to the last man. And I left this guy last because this would actually be my choice. I believe Bohemians are going to look for a young coach. I believe they've probably looked around the league and seen the successes of a lot of young coaches with fresh ideas, new ideas. And I believe that might be one of the reasons why Long Keith Long might be gone as well. But I've gone for Ian Ryan of Wexford FC. Only 34 years of age was... Had a great reputation as a very good coach at UCD. And we know how they produce players, etc., and how they play. Has gone to Wexford and he's done fantastically well. Really, really well. Has them in a position where they could possibly get a playoff place. No one would have thought that at the start of the season. Bear in mind, Wexford were at the bottom of the bottom when he took over, literally. Um, again, works well. He's a very good man manager, I've been told. Works very well. He's very good to players, uh, particularly young players, which a lot generally come true at Bowes from Kevin's, et cetera, and all that, and, uh, and just their general work. Um, you know, he's very attack-minded manager, plays lovely football and fluid football with a team like Wexford. He only lost 3-2 to Dundalk the other night in the Cup, and uh, they were very unlucky to do so, actually, only for the Dundalk keeper. They would have scored more, but um, very attractive side he's built at Wexford, remember. So he was linked with a Waterford job, actually, and he turned it down, which is interesting. Would he turn in the Bohemian's job if it came to him? I don't know. But I think he'd be a seriously interesting choice. And uh, that's personally who I go with. So, guys, there's five contenders. Let me know who else you think. There's been talk of Kenny Cunningham, Ian Morris, um, Roddy Collins, would you believe? Um, who else? Who else? Who else? There's someone else in my mind. Jim Crawford, although I'd say he's highly unlikely. I'd say Collins highly unlikely as well. But let me know what you think, guys, in the comments. Who would you prefer out of this list? Is there anyone not in the list that you would like to manage bows? Again, subscribe to the channel. Hit your bell notification button. And cheers for watching, guys. Have a good day. Thank you very much.